Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. We're very privileged today to have Alistair Johnson from Matrix TSL with us today. Of course, uh, Matrix produced the excellent Loctronics kit that features in an awful lot of my videos, but we're not here to talk about Loctronics today, Alistair. What are we here to talk about today? Our brand new electrical machines kit um, for teaching of modern electrical machines. Um, yeah, this is, this is, it's brand new. Yeah. Literally came out last week, so very exciting for all of us. Yeah, and it's a fantastic looking bit of kit. We've actually only got a sample of it here today that is much, much greater than the stuff we can see on the bench. Uh, in a moment or two, we'll bring the camera in and we'll have a look at one or two of the things that this can do. But we're hoping that this will turn into a series of videos demonstrating some of the principles that can be taught and learnt using this excellent piece of equipment. So as we said, Alistair has very kindly brought in this new uh, kit that's been manufactured by Matrix for educational purposes. Uh, and I think it's fair to say, Alistair, that this just represents really uh, a small sample of all the equipment that comes with this kit. So what have you brought in with us today? So some of this kit is actually a prototype. Um, the, this here is the dynamometer. Mm -hmm. um, this here measures the, um, the force pushing down and there's a calculation that you do to measure torque. This here is the three-phase AC motor. Mm -hmm. This is the, this nice finish is how it will come. This here represents the old prototype. Yeah, because that's a, a really lovely matte finish on there. That looks really, really tough, that does. I don't think anything's going to get through that, is it? Absolutely. So you see here, there's no scratches at yeah. all. On here, on the old prototype, there was obviously yeah. it's prone to scratching. And those of us who are, have taught at FE colleges will know that robust equipment is very, very important in the classroom and the workshop. So that's great. So we've got the dynamometer. We've got the three-phase motor, and what else have we got here? This is a, a brushless DC motor, yep. um, which also can be used as a three-phase generator. Oh, fantastic. And this at the back here, again, which is a prototype, is a DC motor. Ah, very good. So again, that will feature this lovely uh, sort of matte finish that we've got on this one that's a little bit tougher, yeah? Eventually, yes. Yeah, fantastic. That's a great bit of kit. We also have here the... Um, the control box. Yep. So everything, the, the, the whole operation is controlled by this control box yep. in manual mode. Fantastic. So am I right in thinking, Alistair, that uh, when you invest in this equipment, this control box is, is technically, it's kind of like the, the brains of the system. So you could control all of the stuff that we're going to look at here today with this control box. Is that right? That's right. Now, there are two ways that you can control the, the electrical machines. Mm -hmm. The, the one way is, is, like you say, via the control box, but it also can be used in PC mode, uh, which adds a lot more features, um, and, and yeah, it takes it to another level. But yeah, absolutely, you can use it all, all via the control box or in a PC mode. So there's manual mode or PC mode. So Alistair, what's this first bit of kit that you're going to show us to connect up now? So this is the three-phase AC motor, okay. um, and I'm going to attach it to the dynamometer. Yep. It, it's quite simple. It just it's got some rods in, in the bottom here that, that feed into the tracking. He says, struggling to put it in. There we go. It's always harder on camera. <laughs> there you go, slots in. Once it slots in, the blue light goes here. Oh, right. To say Fantastic. that there's a sensor in here that, yeah, it's connected and, it, and, it, and we're safe to go. So am I right in thinking then that this won't run until that's securely and safely locked into there? That's correct. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's an added safety feature. That's really good. I like that. Okay, so uh, could you show us now how to connect up the three-phase AC motor into our uh, control box, please? So here you've got three, the three phases. Mm -hmm. So you've got grey here. Yep. Naturally, grey. Fantastic. To grey. Then black to black. Very nice. Brown to brown. And this is going to be a star. Yeah, that's fantastic. So Formation. we're going to connect the windings up in star there. So we can see here, these are the other sides of each of the coils that they're next to. Yeah. So. And we're just linking those out together so that we get those in star. And am I right in thinking that this can also be connected up in delta? Should we want to demonstrate the difference in operation between star and delta? Absolutely. Fantastic. Okay. So I'll be honest with you, that took about a minute to get that hooked up and ready to go. So that's absolutely fantastic in terms of, of prep time and demonstration time. So we've got this all connected up now, Alistair, ready to go. So how do we actually get the motor to start running now? This here represents the frequency. Okay. So you can turn this. Oh, right. Brilliant. So that's really good. That's about 50%, which is obviously when a three-phase motor is at its most efficient. Okay. So if you increase that, 
it stops because the frequency is too high. Oh, right, so it can shoot over the limit there, yeah? Absolutely. Fantastic. So we'll get that running again. There we go. You can increase the load here. Yeah. The Obviously, um, you can nice. see the RPM here. So as you decrease the load, the RPM speeds up. Fantastic. So we could do some quite interesting experiments with this in terms of loading the motor, uh, checking how it starts on load and offload and comparing the uh, rotational speed and also link that back to the frequency of the supply and how it runs as well. So there's plenty of scope uh, for learning about those different things at this point. That's fantastic. Okay, then, Alistair, so the uh, dynamometer here has uh, a nice function as well where we can actually use it to calculate what the torque being generated by the motor is. But before we get to that, we actually need to reverse the direction of the motor in order to get that to work. So obviously, uh, I'm sure that all of our people who are watching this at the moment will know exactly how to reverse the direction on a three-phase motor, but would you like to just remind us? You have to swap the phases over. Right, so we swap over any two phases, yeah? So I'm gonna just swap the brown and black phase there. Very good. And of course, it, again, it's important to state, isn't it? This is all extra low voltage, so there's no uh, risk of uh, any uh, shock coming on here. So if we start the motor up now, we can see that over here, the dynamometer now, its reverse direction is actually applying pressure onto this uh, scale here. And the scale is now giving us uh, a measurement. Now that's gonna give us, uh, technically, it's calibrated to give us a measure of weight, but there's a calculation that we can do to change that into a force and figure out uh, what torque that's generating. So again, a really nice little touch there. But what's even cleverer than that is that when the motor was going in the original direction, it wasn't just uh, pressing down onto a scale, it was actually speaking to the PC as well, because the PC can do some very clever things as well. So what sort of stuff can we uh, see on there, Alistair? On the PC, it, it basically me measures torque for you, mm -hmm. um, and it can plot graphs, it can put that into Excel, it can see what... Uh, see what the difference between torque and load are as load increases um, and, and there's quite a, a lot of good features there. So there's a real kind of rich uh, opportunity and a rich seam of learning that we could do on this by plotting speed versus torque graphs, seeing how loading affects that, seeing how changes in the frequency affects that as well. So there really is uh, an endless uh, amount of learning to be done uh, on this bit of kit and that's just in fairness just one motor that we've looked at which is really really fantastic. So we've seen some really, really interesting uh, bits of kit here today. And I think it's fair to say, Alistair, that we've literally, we've just started to scratch the surface of what this uh, new kit can actually do. So thank you very much for bringing it in. Thank you thank very you much for, for coming me. down. And thank we're very much looking forward to seeing you again and seeing some more uh, learning resources and seeing some more videos produced on this excellent piece of equipment. Can't wait. Cheers.